Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be discussing the feature of job templates within the job costing module of Sage Trend Evolution. Now job templates can be used very effectively within a job card environment, specifically if you have recurring jobs or services which take place at regular intervals. There are two methods to create job templates and we'll be covering both those options in today's presentation. The first option entails creating a new job template. So under my job costing maintenance, I have a job templates option and select the add button. At this point, I can specify a description for my template, so I can give it a description. And now simply add the components that are going to form part of the template. New line, and I'm going to add some stock items to be used on this template. And you can add a general ledger line. And we can also add, if need be, a labor component onto this template. Right, so I've got my details of the components for my template and I've got my template number. I'm saying save and we have our template created. So if I then move over on to transactions job cards, I'm opening up a new job and I'm now going to link the template to the job card. So I'm going to make the job says active, select the project and also the customer. And now I can simply go to File and say Load Template, select my template. OK, I've got my details there and then I can begin the job card process by just going to make the lines active. and save process and close and begin with the process of the job costing. So as you can see, we've created a template beforehand and when a similar job comes in for repairs or maintenance, we can simply go load the template lines onto the job card and continue with the process. That's our first process. I'm gonna save, save process and the job is now opened. The status is set to active. Our second option would be to create a template from an existing job card. So I'm going to go to my new job. I'm going to set active status. Select a customer. And now really it's a case of the job has begun and as the process continues, I'm going to be adding the stock items onto the job card.
right, so what we have here is the job card being opened for a customer. I've added the components of the job card and I'm going to continue with the process of saving and we then have the picking slip for the items to be picked in the process and the job code is now set to active. I'm going back to edit and in this particular instance we may have the job process being completed so I'm going to set the job status to be complete and process the final invoice. Right and say save process and close. And the transaction has now been completed. I can then go into the existing job card or the closed completed job card and from this point I can go to file and say make template. Note that the load template option is not available. I can may use make use of the make template feature. and OK, and I've now created a template from an existing job card. If I say close there, and I go to new job, I can simply say file, load the template, and we have a new template there, and I can load those line items. So as you can see, two ways of creating job templates within the job costing module, and job templates really a very useful way to process job cards, specifically if you have recurring regular type of serving, servicing transactions. Thank you for watching our presentation today. It's over and out from me, and goodbye.